Red Pops is 1987.com. believe in the defense now. It's the seventh time this year you've held opponents under 40. Well, Coach has been preaching it all year. And, you know, we still got a way to go. We still feel comfortable at our defense, on the defensive end, you know. But we're getting better at it. But we rely on our defense more than anything. You know, somebody going to get hot for us offensively and be able to win us the game. How much does it help, like Kyle was talking about, having Corey on the floor as a decision maker with both, both, both you and and, uh, I take a lot of pressure off this. Uh, you know, let Corey make a lot of decisions. He's smart enough. He can, he's able to score and get, get buckets. And able to find guys to make the right play. So it has a player out there that really takes the pressure off Nick Cow. Makes it right. You guys have eight wins on the road. <laughs> how, how do you transfer that now you've got like home games every other day starting tomorrow? 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, 11th, 13th. We just got to take advantage of it. You know, I didn't know we had the Road win, but you know that's it. And it's us being a tough team, but we still learn. We still got a long way to go. You know, now we gotta take advantage of us being at home and you know run away. All Star Game is in Toronto this year. What are you looking forward to? Is it on your home court, home city? Um, I think just the world getting a chance to see Toronto biggest light when it comes to you know, the NBA. And I think that's a great thing that's, that's going to be dope about it. You know, people can really see the city, understand the city, the culture, you know, how great the city really is. And I think Toronto going to get enough credit that it deserves. <laughs> <laughs> now, somebody asked you earlier about Drake. Uh, you guys had dinner recently. Talk a little bit about you know, the, right. some of the advice that he's giving you on and off the court that you really apply to your life. You know, coming up as a start. I mean, he, 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 he's a great player. You know, uh, outside of basketball, he's just a great guy. You know, we don't look at him like, like he's Drake. He don't look at us like, you know, we we in the huh? But, you know, just whenever I get the chance, sit and talk to him. Right? It's just life experience, whatever it may be. You know, how to be successful, how to play yourself. In the all different types of criteria that, that fit into it. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're a hell of a friend. Try it. Try it. Thank you. With the All Star, I guess being in Toronto, is there a possibility we can see you participating in any of the festivities, the dope contests? Um, I mean, the fans. If Cal does a three point contest, I'd do so. That sounds good. Yeah. Hey, Pops, it's 1987.com. Last season, you were in a very, very interesting but privileged position. You got to play with four out of, the, let's say, the top ten NBA players in the world. Right. Kyrie, LeBron, Westbrook, and KD. Mm -hmm. What's it like? What was it like playing with all four of them in one season? Like, what are some things you pick up? Break it down for us. I mean, you know, especially with LeBron, I mean, just coming in there, see how he work every day. You know, the first one in the gym. Uh, how he take care of his body. I was, that's why I was actually being around. You know, you know, we go out to eat, things like that. 